Hello, hello everybody. This is Chris, Chris Barron for the 4th of October 2020. How are you guys? I hope you're having a great Sunday. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, this week's design competition. I wanted something fairly standard. I wanted a Facebook cover image and I offered $20 for, uh, for that job. It's not about the money, it's more about the competition and learning to work with a brief. Uh, without further ado, let's just get started. Let me share my screen so you can see what's what. And uh, this may surprise you. This time it's going to be really interesting. Uh, you'll see why that's the case in a minute. Mostly, I, I believe this is going to be really important for those people who hate on 99designs that consider 99designs to be some something of a scam. Now, I think this image basically sums up how some people feel about 99designs, right? Um, there's a design competition where the business owner that puts up a prize has to choose a winner, right? And you spend all day and all night creating something that you feel is fantastic. And then at the end of the day, the business owner, the contest holder, uh, chooses something like this, the design on the left, right? And I think this is a good metaphor. This is a good way to express how some people feel about 99designs. Some people say, you know, hey, it's a scam. You know, some people, they just organize a dummy contest. They have no, uh, no intention of actually uh, giving you the prize money. All they do is they try and get some inspiration and steal your ideas, right? And again, I think this sums it up perfectly. Um, there's also another angle, and that angle is the fact that some people really feel like, um, you know, 99designs is, again, a scam. In, in the sorts of you work for two weeks, three weeks or whatever, and then the contest gets refunded. And again, you feel like, hey, you know, this is just a scam. You know, 20, 40 people worked day and night to create 100, 200 entries. And then the contest holder says, you know what, I'm just going to get my money back. And that's extremely infuriating. And again, that's the type of thing that makes you want to give up, right? That's the type of thing that makes you say, okay, F99 designs, F design in general. I hate working with clients. I'm not going to participate in this game, right? Well, in today's uh, competition, in this week's competition, you're about to see why that happens, why that's the case, why some contest holders are forced to ask for their money back. And you'll see why that's the case in a minute. Again, please remember this thing right here, right? Okay, so... Here are the submissions for today's contest, for this week's contest. Uh, I only have nine in total, which is one of the lowest uh, number of entries that I've ever received. Again, this is for the Facebook cover image. And it's this part right here where you can see all this lemonade, uh, all these lemonade bottles. Right. So this is what I wanted. The contest was actually fairly standard, fairly simple. Create a Facebook cover image based on whatever you want, whatever you find on my social media accounts, on my website, from anywhere, just use it, create a design, you know, create a mock-up, and that's it. So the, the brief itself was extremely simple. It was very, very basic. It was, there was no chance of not understanding it, right? I also asked for a, for a mock-up, just so we can see how it would look like. Well, again, I only got a few entries, and most of them, uh, I, most of them included a mock-up. And you can see the mock-up here, and this is pretty good, pretty well executed. And just by going through them, you can see that some of them, you know, included a mock-up uh, for the mobile version and for the desktop version as well, which is again pretty nice, pretty cool. Uh, but then other people, I'm not really sure what they did, right? Uh, other people, again, I'm not really sure what they thought. For example, this one. Right, um, so I'm not really sure what, what happened here. Right, um, you can clearly see this is distorted. So again, I'm not really really sure how. If you follow my courses, you should know what a mock-up is. And the problem continues. I think we have a few more. This uh, person uh, submitted the same design uh, twice, as you can see here, and didn't include a mock-up. But I was being generous and I included it in, in the competition for whatever reason. I, I decided to just let it be, um, even though that's not really fair. Uh, let's see what else. This one, again, I'm not really sure why this is included. This is the correct mock-up. Okay. 
And yeah, someone just sent an email without submitting anything, right? Uh, let's see what else. Uh, here's another design. Okay, pretty good. <clears throat> and another design with no mock-up, right? And that's it. So these are all the entries that I've received. Again, I, I realized that $20 is not a huge amount, but, you know, I, I was really hoping that, you know, most participants would be able to, to go past the, the sum of money and, you know, just try and, and, and see what they could create. Now, again, these are all the entries and we're going to go through them one by one. But the point is, this is not the case all that often. You're not actually losing on 99 designs all that often in front of a, a worse design. The contest holder doesn't always ask for his money back, you know, without any reason. This is exactly the case why some contests get refunded. This is why some prizes aren't awarded because the level of competition, even if, you know, I had 50 entries, this type of design just doesn't make any sense. And I really, I, I think the biggest problem is most, most, uh, most of my students have only watched Ultimate Photoshop training. They haven't watched um, Ultimate Graphic Design, uh, Create 40 Practical Projects in Photoshop, where I actually teach you how to create a Facebook cover image. But in my mind, I really thought that this was a slam dunk because I have so many beautiful photos, literally hundreds of beautiful photos of my products. So I really thought this would be a slam dunk because everybody has probably a Facebook account and it would be really easy to create a mock-up and create a decent design, right? Uh, but again, I, I, it, it seems like that wasn't the case. So let's take it one by one and see what's what. Um, let's see if I should actually, should I actually extend it? No, I think, I think this is actually more than enough. So uh, starting with this one. Right, uh, leaving aside the, the fact that again, uh, this is uh, trimmed in a certain way. This is not my logo. This isn't my logo. So because it's not my logo, because you decided to change the font used in Coca-Cola or Sony or Starbucks, you thought it would be a better treatment, you know, to just change it up a little bit. Let, let me actually back up and simplify it. You're not allowed to interact with the logo in such a way. You're not supposed to add drop shadows, strokes, bevel and embosses, no any effect whatsoever. You're not allowed to mess with the logo. The logo is what it is. You're not supposed to alter it in any way. Use the logo in its original format and that's that. So just for that reason alone, that's not cool. But leaving that aside, let's assume that this is the, the correct logo. Why? <laughs> Why use this type of background? Why use two shades of brown? I mean, using brown in, in, in design, in the design world is something of a no-no. Most people, you know, stay away from brown because they know it's not a good shade. It's not something that, you know, it, it doesn't provide great contrast, right? It, so white doesn't look particularly great. Black doesn't look great either. I'm talking about black text or white text. It's just not a nice color, so using these shades doesn't make any sense. So for that reason, obviously this is gonna get eliminated for the for the two shades of brown and for the uh, using uh, using my logo in the wrong way. Uh, so that's gonna be eliminated. Now this one, this is somewhat of a collage, but uh, with a black background, and we see some flowers here, some decorative items. I'm not really sure why that's the case. I'm not really sure why you would... Again, just, just the sheer fact that you're using a black background, that's not the type of vibe that my website or my, my social media account, that's not the type of thing I'm going for. Everything right here is really bright and happy and memes and whatnot. So everything is really, it's really nice and fun, right? If you use this much black, this is... This wants to be something high-end. This is something that's, again, not in tune with, with, with the brand. And again, leaving all this black here and including these elements that really don't make a lot of sense, I think not. I think not. The next one. Okay, uh, this features my slogan, uh, which says it's not a dessert, it's the perfect uh, lunch. Uh, pretty good, pretty decent, but unfortunately... 
the jars are incredibly small. These should be the star of the show, and unfortunately, they're way too small. The logo doesn't have great visibility, and it's all the way hidden here where nobody's going to see it. So again, this isn't all that great. And again, with the brown, this shade of blue is pretty okay. Maybe a bit of yellow here or the orange, whatever you want to call it. But again, so much brown. Uh, let's actually see if we can um, if we can identify the, the mock-up. Yeah. So look, the logo doesn't show up anywhere. So that doesn't make any sense. And again, the jobs, sure, you could see it. But again, in most of my posts, in most of my... Uh, my social media uh, posts, I show the jar as big as possible, right? Imagine me, you know, sitting all the way over here, right? It, it wouldn't make any sense. You're not seeing me. It's the same thing in uh, in this thing. The, the product has to has to be in the forefront of your design. Has to take center stage. So yeah, I I'm not really sure what's what's up with it. I quite like this splash effect. These decorative items. But yeah, overall, I don't think this is a, this is a good design. I think it could have been way better. It's fairly standard and boring. I do like the font. I think it's pretty good. Uh, it's a nice serif font. I quite like it. It's nice and chunky. It has a decent personality. Uh, you could say that you know it clashes a little bit with uh, with Nunito, which is my main font, or with Zilla Slab. But again, overall, I, I think this it, it's a good font. It's not a great design. It's just basic. Now, here's yet another one, which is really gonna, I think it's gonna divide a lot of people. Um, the problem with it, it's a decent collage, right? And in my Adobe XD uh, course, the latest one, I think I actually, had, I think this is one of the, the, the first exercises. It may be the second or third exercise. In any case, this is pretty good. This is standard. It's not all that exciting. It's not all that, you know, it's not incredible by any means. But the problem is, all these photos are outdated. All these photos are old, right? So uh, I think about six months ago or something like that, I changed my labels. I made them bigger. I improved the, the design. I changed the typeface. I made them significantly better, right? Unfortunately, <laughs> again, this designer took, I think these are at least one year old. Right, so he took some of the oldest photos that that he found, which is again extremely disappointing. I can't show off, you know. And again, you can see this is the old label; these are the new labels. I can't feature the Facebook cover photo with the old design. It just do I really have to explain why you're not supposed to use one year old photos? It's it's so disappointing. Even if he actually used. The correct photos. This type of collage, so basic, so simple, with with so uh, these chokes are so large. I'm not sure it would have won, but you know, looking at everything, it would have been probably the front runner. But as it stands, I don't think so. Because again, I I can't show it. I can't use it. Moving on, let's actually move move on to this one. This one is again this logo. Again, it's not the updated one, but I'll give you that. Let's let's leave it like that. Uh, the cookies and the jar, you're not actually able to see it. And then I think this is the skyline, right? This is a city skyline. This should be the skyline of Bucharest, right? It's <laughs> it's not good. It's <laughs> it's not well executed. This is as basic as it gets, and it's really disappointing because. You can just go on shapes for free or whatever and get beautiful city skylights, uh, sky, city silhouettes, let's, let's call it that. So you don't have to create something from scratch. This designer actually took, I would say, about 20 minutes, maybe more, to create this skyline. And it's so disappointing because there's tons of them out there for the free that you could have used without any problems, without any issues, right? I wouldn't, because again, in general, using custom shapes, is something that's really, really allowed. It's something extremely basic that not a lot of people would say, hey, you, you stole something. On the other hand, when you're using, you know, when most of your design is based on free pick, on a beautiful upscale vector that's really nice and detailed and really bright, obviously people are going to complain. I'm going to complain as well because, hey, basically you just downloaded the resource and you just changed something. 
But again, that's usually not the case. So if there's one takeaway from this train wreck of a contest is that you could use more custom shapes. You should look for the custom shapes and integrate them in your designs whenever possible. Um, but yeah, obviously this is gonna be eliminated. And again, this pattern here doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Let's see if we can quickly find it. Uh, if we can see the mock-up. In the mock-up, it actually looks decent. Uh, you can actually see the, the cookies and whatnot, but no, obviously this, this is not cool. This is not, not right. Now, let's move on. This one, which uh, is again, it was uh, presented uh, in a distorted manner. Uh, this features again uh, something, uh, some copy from uh, from my website. It says um, products made with love in Romania, basically. Um, let's see what else. This is the updated design. These all, all these other ones are really outdated. So again, these are the jars that I've used again probably about a year ago. You can see that the label is different. The jar itself is different. Um, and it's quite a shame because this person actually spent a whole lot of time on this design. You can see we have a gradient mask applied here. Uh, we have um, we have these pancakes here which were cut out, cut out. So someone really spent a long time working on this. We have a reflection here. We have a Gaussian blur. Uh, we have um, a stroke here that has a gradient applied to it. So loads, loads of work here. I, I think this person spent about maybe three hours on it. I would, I would dare to guess something like that, two, three hours, more or less. Um, again, so much work, but it's incredibly busy. It's so busy, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And it's really so disappointing. Now, again, I wanna, I wanna remind you in case you, you haven't uh, been here from the start. On 99designs, some contest holders after two weeks or whatever, they ask for their money back. And you, you end up really upset because, hey, you know, I really spent a whole lot of time working on it. I deserve that money. Or what happens is the prize gets awarded, but someone like this on the left side gets awarded. And you, with the beautiful design, you feel that, you know, you just got scammed. You feel like, you know, you deserved it and someone, someone basically stole from you, right? Well, so far, I think... There's a clear case for getting my money back, right? For, for refunding this contest. So obviously this is going to be eliminated. Now, going back to it, here's another one. Uh, this is pretty decently cut out. You can see here that we have some problems. Uh, this is easily sorted through a mask. You could have easily used a mask to, to clean this up. The brush tool, the pen tool, whatever, just make a simple selection and that's that. Uh, this is again something that, that shows initiative. This is a nice path, a nice curved path. This is pretty good. Obviously, it's not a great... Let's put it like this. The idea itself was interesting, right? Um, when the designer imagined it, you know, it, it, it seemed like a great idea. But unfortunately, as you can see, this part right here is black, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's not appetizing in the slightest bit. You know, when it comes to food, when it comes to desserts, you want nice, happy, bright colors, which is totally fine. This is exactly what you see in the background. This is all nice and fun and playful. So that's that's great. Unfortunately, the logo is way too big. Um, you know, the text, okay, it's, it's decent, but I would have preferred the font something like this with a bit more character. This just seems like Arial Black, and that's about that. Um, there's, there aren't any shadows, there's not a lot of detail, a bit too, too, many, too many shapes here, too many rounded uh, coordinates. I'm not in love with it, it's, it's, it's not something that I, would, that I would happily present. I would give this a 2 out of 5 at the most. So again, good idea but poor execution. Um, you know, if you imagine it, you know, a jar that, that has some words coming out of it that's tilted and whatnot, some a happy background. Again, it seems like a great idea, but this is where your, your technical execution really fails you. It really lets you down. So because you, you are not able to, to, to get your idea from your mind into Photoshop, unfortunately, this has to be eliminated as well. Now, here's another one. <laughs> this, 
this is obviously awful because it's way too busy. It's extremely busy. It features loads of cut cutoffs that uh, don't make any sense. Cutouts, cutoffs, cutouts. Sorry about that. Cutouts. Um, some images are really blurred. Uh, some are more sharp than are sharper than others. But yeah, overall, this looks like whatever. This looks like a sign that you'd find at a flea shop, at a bazaar, at a whatever. You know, it's it's far from upscale and luxurious, uh, but it's also not playful. It's just busy and crowded, and it makes you just turn away. I don't think I have to say a whole lot about it. I think you know this needs to be eliminated, and that's about that. It's not a lot that I can say. And this other one, uh, again, it's the name of my company written in a fancy font that's not mine. Um, we can see some cookies. Let's actually, let's see if we can find it here. Maybe you can see it better. Well, actually, let's, let's just see it here. Okay, so stay healthy. Okay, and we have a photo. We have a clipping mask here. That doesn't make any sense because we can't actually see what's here. If you can, if you can decipher what's here, I think I'm gonna award you the prize. Um, then the lemonade, uh, he changed the color. This is raspberry, and he made that neon. This this is teal actually. So no idea why that's the case. These aren't any. These aren't any of my colors. I actually use orange and the blue and yellow. So I'm not really sure why he he chose this particular color scheme. Um, we have a chain here because. What says healthy food more than a chain, right? It really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So I'm getting a message that this is my jar. Do you actually expect people to be able to see that this is a jar here? I mean, I appreciate the explanation, but don't try and defend it, right? You should say, okay, Chris, my bad. It's, it is indeed awful. You can't actually see what's going on here. But again, going back to it, a chain. Why there's a chain here, I have no idea. You can also see that the effect is cut off here, which probably means that this was a freebie that was imported from, from, from a, a different project, obviously. And unfortunately, this was cut off here. It's, it's, it's not a good look. Um, you can see some of my biscuits here, some of my cookies, or whatever you want to call them, uh, and a part of a jar. But that's about it. I mean, again, we're really zoomed out. This is actually the the one hundred percent version, and it's it's terrible. Now the question is, you guys. The question is, these are all the entries, right? These are just the repetitive ones. Um, you can just ignore them. Let's just hide them like that. So these are all the entries that I received, right? I promised twenty dollars and or actually, sorry, or uh, one of my courses for free. Now tell me, what should I do in this specific case? On one hand, I could just award one of them at random, right? Just go at random.org and just award some money, right? That's one way to go about it. Or on the, on the other hand, I could not award uh, anyone. I could just not give anyone the money, right? Now, uh, look, it's exactly what the cucumber is saying. Hey, you told, you said in the past that you, you're gonna you're gonna choose a design even if there's only two. Right, so that would seem like I'm not being, I'm not being serious, right? I'm not, I'm not serious about it. Um, so th this is the case. This is what I said in the beginning, right? This is regarding 99 designs. You know, so many people are worried about, hey, Chris, you know, the contest is not guaranteed. What if I work for two weeks and then the 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 client, the contest holder? asks for his money back what should i do then i don't want to participate i need safety well again how the hell am i supposed to pick a winner here please tell me please let me know how am i supposed to to choose a winner considering that all these are absolutely terrible they're not they're not even halfway decent right they're not even there's no chance that i would actually upload them to to, to my facebook account so considering this what should I do? Should I just pick someone at random? Or what should I do? Yeah, I could extend it, indeed. But unfortunately, you've already seen, you know, what everybody else has done. So when you see when the contest is no longer blind, this is not really all that fair.
right? It, it creates it creates a complicated situation where new people are able to see maybe this stream. Um, if you, because again, if there's only a handful of people right now in the stream, right? About uh, whatever, a handful of people. You guys that have seen my feedback can obviously do a better job next time, right? If I extend the contest. But what about the people who are currently sleeping? What about the people on YouTube and so on, you know? So it's it's not really all that fair. Um, so again, what the hell am I supposed to do? And again, it's not really a problem because again, I really don't care. I can award the, the prize. I can do whatever. Because um, it's, it's not really something that's, that's all that important in this specific case. But... But think about 99 designs. Think about actual actual people, actual clients that want a design, and then they get something like this. This is why contests get refunded. It's not a huge scam. It's not people trying to get design ideas out of you. It's not people have, you know asking their friends to to submit another design. So you know you you're gonna be in second place with no money, and they're just gonna get that money back in their pocket. It's not that, it's this. This happens more than you think. And again, think about it. Some people didn't even include a mock-up, even though that's that's clearly written in the brief. Some people didn't even actually uh, create, did, didn't actually send her the file. So again, the whole idea behind this, this stream is to let you know that, hey, this happens quite often. You know, out of 100 entries, 20 are absolutely horrible. They're completely rubbish. People that haven't actually written, uh, read the brief. Another 20% to 20 entries are people who, again, use, you know, resources from 12 months ago and so on. So this should give you a whole lot of confidence in yourself. Even if you're, if you're uh, one of the guys that, that created, uh, you know, uh, one of these entries that, again, these are all modest to, to really bad. Um, even if that's the case, this should give you confidence because there's, whether it's 99designs on any other platform, it's not that high level of a competition. You can, you can participate and you can win. Just make sure you read the brief and you do a decent job. Because again, it's what you see here. Again, only this person really put the time into it really took the time and really created something that's, again, from scratch. I don't think this is based on a freebie. And really put the time and uh, spent loads of techniques and whatever to create a design. The rest, again, well, obviously this is time intensive as well. I'm sure this took a whole lot of time, but it's, <laughs> it's, it, there's a huge difference between time well spent and, you know, time wasted. This is just time wasted. So, uh, please let me know. Let's uh, let's vote. Um, re no a prize um, or pick one at random or just choose a winner. Please vote, and based on what you vote, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something. Now, I think I'm gonna do something. Actually, no promises, because. Democracy isn't always all that great, especially when it comes to, to this uh, specific discourse server. I've actually banned quite a few people recently because I've opened up uh, the, the server to, um, to quite a few people. And, uh, you know, they, they've posted inappropriate content, uh, loads of things that, that are just not cool. So I, I, just, uh, I just decided to ban them straight out. Because again, this is not a privilege, this... This is not a right. This is a privilege, right? So let's see. Uh, no prize. Pick one at random. I'm really happy. I really appreciate the fact that you guys said that I shouldn't pick one at random. That would not be fair. So I really appreciate that. Um, no prize is the majority and choose a winner uh, two votes. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm going to go with no prize. Again, these are all horrible. These are all... Again, you know, just look at the existing one. Let's have a look at the existing one. So let, let, let's just look at this one. So let me know. I mean, it's night and day. I would I would keep this for the 1,000 years before choosing any of these ones. Because what you failed, let me give some, some constructive feedback. Because again, I've made fun. I, I, I said loads of things. But let, let, me, let me actually give some constructive, constructive feedback. 
What some of these entries have done, and they've done a really bad job at it, they've overcomplicated things. You don't need to complicate things. You don't need something really that's, that's you know, this is just a photo. This is just a photo with some nice product uh, images that have been the, that have been retouched. You know, increase the contrast, increase the brightness, and that's about that, right? Uh, in the past, look, yet again, just a simple product photo, right? Um, these, this is the old one. That's really, you can see the difference in, uh, in, the, in the camera quality, in the photo quality. You can see that this is washed out and this is really nice. But yeah, you don't need to do anything all that special, right? Just a collage, just a, just a three photo collage would have been great, right? Just integrating the slogan in a, in a simple background. That would have been simple. That would have been so effective, you know? Just take a photo and then add the orange rectangle. And with a nice font, write something here from, from the website, right? It's not a dessert, it's the perfect whatever, lunch. So something simple, right? If it's a collage, make it, you know, at, at an angle. You know, don't use just simple uh, rectangles. Use whatever, use triangles, use whatever, circles, or whatever. But don't overcomplicate things. You don't need to create something, you know, incredibly busy like this one. Or something, you know, uh, like this one with loads of effects. Rarely. Seldom do you find Facebook covers that are so complicated with reflections and shadows and Gaussian blurs and whatnot. This is not the right approach. Simplicity, that's where it's at. So if there's one takeaway, if there's two takeaways from, from, this, uh, from this live stream, it's this. Number one, don't be afraid of contests that are not guaranteed. If you do a great job, I mean, just just have a just think for a moment. You could create a better entry in about five or seven minutes, right here, right? So easily, just go on the website, take one lovely photo, put a, a nice rectangle, a nice font, and that's that. And by doing so, you would have had a better entry than than all these ones, right? So just like that, five, ten minutes, that would have been enough. So if you're ever hesitant about participating in a design competition, please don't be. Jump straight into it. No matter, again, if the brief is complicated or way too simple, if the prize is not guaranteed and whatnot. If you do a good job, you're going to get chosen as the winner, right? But if, if, <laughs> if all the entries are absolutely rubbish, yours included, then obviously the contest is not going to be awarded. So that's what's going to happen here. I'm not going to award the prize. I think I'm going to create a, a different contest for the, for next week and I'll see what's what. I'm not going to increase the price, though I could double the price amount, but that's not the point. Because the point here is, again, not to not to actually fight for the money. Because what? I could make the price whatever, $100, $200, $500, but that's not the point. The point is to actually um, to, to realize how this works, how contest holders behave. How they think, how other people interpret the brief, that's not all that detailed. That's, you know, and again, you know, something that, that's really interesting. How many people mess up? How many people don't create a mock-up even though that's part of the brief? How many people forget to actually send the entry, right? Because again, there, there was someone here and this has happened in the past where some people just don't submit the entry. And you can see that some people, you know, they, they've attached the photo just like that. but Another person did it this way. So again, this is a minor inconvenience, sure. But for me, as a busy entrepreneur, this is not me, Chris, speaking. This is me, the contest holder on 99designs. I don't like that, right? And again, this person is just wasting my time. And it's all these little things you have to learn from them. Because again, this is who you're going up against on 99designs and all, all those other platforms. This is Chris. I hope this has been interesting. Have a great Sunday, and uh, yeah, I'll speak to you on Wednesday. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.